Hawkeye Air Base will soon be home to an international flight training school, but it won't be the first time. During the Second World War, hundreds of dashing young airmen from around the world came here to train. That made the Moose Jaw girls very happy, and the Moose Jaw boys very jealous. With our flat terrain and sunny skies, Saskatchewan made a perfect home for the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan. 21 flight schools were set up in this province, and Moose Jaws was one of the biggest. Marion Tolley was 17 years old when the flight crew started arriving. Sometimes you'd hear, oh, they're going to just take advantage of all these country bumpkin <laughs> Saskatchewan girls or something, you know. But they were charming. Romances between Moose Jaw girls and British airmen were springing up everywhere. Marion's sister fell for a Scotsman, and Marion met a young English airman named George Tolley. I looked across the room, and this uh, blondest man, blondest person maybe that I'd ever seen, with the bluest eyes, very fair skin, and a charming smile, and I, I just fell in love at first sight. By 1944, most of the local men were overseas, fighting for king and country. But a handful, those too young to serve or unfit to fight, remained in Moose Jaw. And they didn't much like the idea of their women being charmed by the flyboys. The rivalry simmered for several months and boiled over at a Saturday night dance in September 1944. A fight started between a member of the Royal Air Force and a local boy from Moose Jaw. It escalated into a brawl in the alley outside, but the worst was yet to come. They weren't old enough to sign up. This once that did a little bit of this rioting and starting fist fights, you know, with the, or maybe the RAF fellows started the fist fights. I don't know, but uh, I think that the, uh, the young men were jealous. The following Tuesday, four British airmen were ambushed and knocked unconscious in Crescent Park. Word of the attack reached the dance hall where 350 RAF members were gathered. The showdown was on. Fights broke out all over town. The park was the scene of a riot. When it was over, five people were arrested. Dozens more were bloodied and bruised. Two months later, the Moose Jaw Air Base was closed. But the relationships that had formed continued on. Marion eloped with her young British sweetheart and went to live in England for a few years. The story was the same for dozens of other Moose Jaw girls. I think when we did get married to these British boys, we said, well, we're coming back to Canada, don't forget, you know. And so most of the, young, the men had agreed. And they were quite pleased to come back to Canada. So while the Canadians and British were fighting overseas as allies, back here in Moose Jaw, they were bitter enemies, fighting for the attention of local girls. For the CBC NewsHour, I'm Bill Wazer in Moose Jaw.